back to James 1, 6, you just simply have to believe that he can do it. So the, I think there's a combination because what, what the non-believer might be thinking right now or the, what the Christian struggles with is the belief that God can actually do that for them based on all their prior sins they've committed to the kingdom and out of the kingdom and mm -hmm. continue to commit. So there's that problem that your everyday Christian faces. The non-believer is like, dude, so now I have to believe in this potential unknown result that this would yield and this would be profitable. At the same time though, it's not like we're throwing out principles of generating wealth. It's not like once I get the idea to start that YouTube channel, that I'm just going to keep sort of praying for this God creator to keep, to make that YouTube channel successful. No, no, he just gave right. the idea and he's giving you the power, skills, talent, resources, and connections to now go make it happen. So it's, it's what the world is still doing. The world is still saying, go create yeah. a lot of content, make quality content, quality over quantity, typically, and then in the beginning, it, temp it tends to be uh, quality over uh, 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 quantity over quality in the beginning. And then you can, you know, uh, make changes. You get better because you're gonna be bad as a new YouTuber with zero subscribers like and zero, zero videos and all these different I, things. I like that. I like that you can get quality through quantity. Yes. Absolutely. I like looking at it that way. Mm -hmm. And so you're, we're still going to do the things that would align with the YouTube algorithm because now you're in the world. So you have to understand how world systems work, how YouTube works, algorithms, analytics, comments, your, your audience base and how to serve them the best you possibly can. And you provide an irresistible offer and you do all these things and you sell and you communicate and you do all these things that bring success and bring ROI. Th there's nothing bad technically about doing all those things. It's just a matter of who did you give credit to? You or God? You, there's really your only two options. Either you gave credit to yourself or some idol of you, someone you idolize that looks like you, talks like you, thinks like you. That could be your guru, your coach, your mentor. And so you give them the glory, a man or a woman uh, or a system or an organization or a country, United States of America, whatever it may be, you're giving glory to something, someone else other than God, the source, the creator. And therefore, even when you win, you still lose because it'll come with massive amount of pain, anxiety, stress, struggle, and every wealthy person on the planet can give their testimony. You talk to anybody successful in any industry, even the Christian, and most importantly, the non-believer will say the same thing. It's hell, it's hard work, it sucks, you might get a divorce, you might lose your friends, you might do this, you might have a bad relationship, people will die in the process, all this stuff. That's because of how they obtained it versus in, in, in the kingdom, as I understand it, bones will still break, people will still pass away, things will still happen, but the, the transaction of that wealth to you to steward over, there was no pain in that delivery. There was no sorrow. There was no death. It was only life. So when I, every time I obtain a new client in my business or I serve someone and that results in a, in a transaction, I can honestly say for the last few years, it has been no pain, no sorrow, no death, only life in that, in that transaction. Now, if I experience fight, flight, or freeze afterwards, that isn't because of the transaction. That is now the accuser stepping in and messing with my brain in that moment. And I have to rebuke it and cast my fear back to God and say, Hey, I just, you know, I just experienced this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just bought this house. Uh, uh, I'm a little, you know, anxious. I'm a 28 year old new homeowner. I, I'm, you know, I got my fiance, I got my, my mom and I'm, and I'm taking care of these people and, and, and all this stuff is happening. Uh Oh, you know, and I got these cars and Oh, Oh shoot you know, the finances, my, my uh, revenue in March was a little bit down. <laughs> so that'll still happen. But from how I've been experienced, the transaction of wealth, when, when I get it, when I receive it from God and, and money in the form of an exchange in the marketplace, no pain, no worry, yeah. 
no fear, no doubt, no concern. It's just there. It hit the bank account. It added another zero and it's there. And it's now the, the, the pains that occur afterward is not because of what God gave me. It just and, it happens in life. You, you know, you're going to sweat. You're going to might, you might get cut. You might bleed a little bit. You're going to live. Right. Cause yeah. there's, there's life. And we're tough. We're tough. We're tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all right. right. But the, that in, in that stuff you described afterwards, I think a lot of people are, they think that gaining wealth or accumulating wealth always comes with basically a painful result. Like mm -hmm. what you just described. Yeah. Now, I don't think that that's necessarily the case. And here's, here's how I I'd encourage you guys to look at it is when we have a, a, a peace in our heart, see, this, this is where we have to get in life and with God is that we are at peace in our heart. Now we have faith and trust in God now. And a word you and I've talked about Denzel content when you are in that spot and you have that foundation in your life you're that type of person more money will not affect you negatively Correct. the things in life still happen but because i've got that stance in that place they don't phase me anymore they don't phase me like they used to they might reveal some business systems and strategies i need to tweak and adjust they might to reveal some things i need to work on and develop in i'm not saying they won't happen and i'm not saying you know, we never get affected and, and, and we don't have moments where we got to catch ourselves. Yeah, but that's because we're developing, we're working on this stuff. But really in life, here's a truth, is it, it, it's not that life, like I've, I've looked at people who have gained success and fame over the years that I've known for long periods of time, more and more success, they've become better at the craft, they've mastered things. It seems like things get easier as they do that. But the truth is, is they actually get stronger. They are less affected by outside things because their inside has gotten stronger. Their faith has gotten stronger. So you still might get that bad report. You still might get that negative thing. You still might get that employee, that key employee that quits. You might get that investment that tanks because you worked on it in here. Oh. You have that peace and that trust and that faith in God that he's got me. I'm out here just following my marching orders. I'm in the master's hands. I've consulted with the father. I know what I'm to be doing. Okay, bad thing happened. That's all right. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm on a mission. Let's go. Let's roll. Let's keep going. I don't want people to fear that other side because if they fear that other side that you just described, they won't, they'll, they'll self-sabotage. They will short circuit and never get close to wealth or an abundance of finances, however we want to define it. Right.